Today we're going to change the seat out on my 2012 BMW F650 GS. I ordered a seat from Sargent, which is right here. Um, actually, I ordered it through Revzilla. And I ordered that after doing a lot of investigation. BMW makes a comfort seat, but most of BMW products I've been buying are actually made in China. So I really don't want to pay a lot of money for a BMW product that's not very well made. I also looked at Wunderlich and Wunderlich, um, their seats are really expensive and they don't really have some of the good features I was looking for. And so I was able to get this seat, like I said, through Revzilla and it actually has the silver with it on, on a black seat. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this open. I've been excitingly waiting for this seat to come. And I want to flip it over. And one of the reasons I chose this seat was because it has a compartment under here. Too bad there's not some money in there. For your owner's manual. Now, I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. It also has a compartment set up for all the tools. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the old seat off. To do that, you just put the key in it. Turn it, and the seat comes up and off. Now we can kind of compare the two seats. You might ask, well, why, did you re why are you replacing a seat on a brand new motorcycle? Well, the reason being is because this BMW seat is the worst seat I've ever sat on, and I've owned a lot of motorcycles. It is so thin here, and see there's no cushion back here. After you've sat on it for about 30 minutes, you're going you're gonna to be really sore. So it's not a very good seat. One of the other reasons I picked um, the Sargent seat is because it also comes with a little rubber pieces already inserted on it. Whereas the Wunderlich, you have to actually remove them from the old seat and put them on the new one. And I thought, well, gosh, at the price that they're asking for it, that's kind of ridiculous. So one thing you need to do is if you buy one of these bikes, Put your um, rider's manual into a plastic bag because BMW wants you to store it right here above the fender. And there's about a one inch gap between the rear of the original seat and the back. And when it rains, well, it soaks your manual, which is not a good thing. This manual got soaked the other day and I had to dry it out and try to restore it back to somewhat original condition. Well, it's kind of messed up. So, that's why I like this. It'll just go right in here, fit perfectly. It's like this is a little warranty card. I'll read that later. Just stick all that in there. Boom, we're done. Then we have to transfer the tool set over. So this came with a little tool set here from BMW. Looks like we got, um, we have some wrenches and let's see what all we have here. I bought this motorcycle at an Arizona dealer who shall remain unnamed. Um, and I noticed I got an extra wrench. This is actually a $500 wrench because that particular dealer cheated me out of my Ride Smart reward for $500. Hence, I'll never go back to that Arizona dealer. I guess it was their victory and not mine. So um, I'll, I'll put my $500 wrench in here. Wow, thanks BMW dealer for giving me an extra wrench there. And then everything else I'm going to install in here. And hopefully it's going to go in about the same way. Um, we'll have to see here how it goes. I actually haven't done this. so. We'll have to figure it out. Ah, that's good. Now we have to put the uh, screwdriver in. Looks like all oh, that's going in pretty well. Now I have to find a way to put this piece in. So perhaps they uh, meant it to go under here. And then this on top. Well, that's not really ideal. But I don't see any other slot that they made for it. 
and this is the original tools that should have come with it. So I'll try tucking it in right here. Let me get this back out. I didn't see any instructions with this. Ah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to push it in like that. We're going to take this wrench, flip it over, put it in here like that, put this screwdriver in, and then fasten all the tools down. Voila! Beautiful. So now we're just going to simply install it on the, on the bike and we're going to see how it looks. So um, I'll put it on there and then we'll come right back. I've installed the new seat, locked it in place. One thing I really like about this seat is that it comes all the way back here so there's no gap where rain can go in and soak all the electronics and stuff. So I don't know how BMW designed the original seat to be an inch short. Seems rather stupid. But um, anyway, this is going to be a nice, comfortable seat for lots of long drives. Looks like it's beautiful quality, made in USA. The silver matches the other silver parts on my uh, motorcycle. So um, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. So thanks for, thanks for watching.